These are all, these are all books that I have for students that I, it, here, you want to learn how to play like Charlie Parker? This is the Omni book. It's already, I already wore it out. The cover's already off. I have all bird solos in it. You want to learn how to play intervolically, where you get a note, you get a scale, he lifts a couple notes up an octave, uh, down an octave, get jumpy lines. Eddie Harris put a book out on it. You can spend your whole life on that. You know, the, the uh, uh, oh, here's another augmented scale book. How did that get in there? Want to play high notes on a saxophone? Spend the rest of your life playing high notes? Here, there's a book for that. You like Sonny Rollins and you want to learn about how he soloed and you want to get his ideas? There's Sonny Rollins solos. If you want to do that, you know, it, it's, it just goes and it goes and it goes. And uh, you want to learn how to arrange and compose? <laughs> this is another life. So it's, uh, man, oh man, you know, I have to look through all this stuff. You know, there's a lot of, um, oh, Montunas, you want to play Latin music? Bom, be, bom, 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 bom. This is another life in this book. So you can see why, oh, maybe I like Cannonball Adderley. There you go. There's a lifetime's worth of work. Cannibal. So it goes on and on and on. And I have this stuff here because I use it as a reference for students. Oh my, yeah, you want to learn how to use the melodic minor scale and all its formations and all its applications? There you go, another life for that. So you never really have it all together. I think, I think that what happens is, oh, let's not forget David Baker's Bebop book, a classic. Bebop, it's great. So, you know, Nobody has it all together. I think when you sign up for this, you sign up for the ride, you know. You sign up for the ride, and that's what's fun, because the more you know, the more you realize it just opens up. You get involved in composition. You get involved in writing. It's just there's no end to it. That's why it's kind of a hobby that, that will stay vibrant if you want to uh, enjoy it that way, you know. So it never really ends. <laughs> Thank you. 